Look at this. This is crazy. And what's the other guy? Desperate bystanders pleading with deputies to stand down, defending the three black teens at the other end of the officer's weapons. Put your guns down. Each of the teens obeyed deputies' commands to walk back toward them with their hands raised. They were handcuffed but eventually released. Felt my throat closing almost because it was like so surreal, you know, that this was happening to him. Tammy Collins' son was one of the three boys held at gunpoint. When you first saw the video, what went through your mind? I just started crying. I was screaming um, because I wasn't there for my son and I knew he was afraid, but um, he followed everything that I had taught him um, to do if he ever got in a situation like that. The boys say they were waiting at a bus stop in the Santa Clarita Valley when a homeless man tried to stab them. They say they fended off the attack using their skateboards as shields. They don't care because they black, that's why. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says deputies were responding to a report that two male black adults hit a victim with a skateboard, but that the victim could not be located. Witnesses at the scene corroborated the teen story. And I got on the phone and told you guys, there's a male Hispanic out here so, chasing on, a, these on. kids with a knife. So, to have him go through that ordeal at the age of 16 is inconceivable. Derek Gray, whose son was also detained last Friday, says watching the video hurt his heart. When you say that the video takes you to the next level, what do you mean by that? I could have possibly lost my son, my youngest son, because somebody called the police to protect him Instead of being protected, he was accosted. Yes. And this will stay with him for the rest of his life. Both families say this was so traumatic, they're exploring therapy for their sons. Santa Clarita's mayor has asked the department to expedite its review of the incident and that, quote, the deputy be removed from the field pending the investigation. It's unclear which deputy, though, he's talking about. Jamie Yuka, CBS News, Los Angeles.